Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have talked a lot about artilleries and rocket and how important they are in the battlefield. Also a few months back we have reported that the guided extended range pinaka is ready which will be massive capability enhancement over the current pinaka 1 rockets operational under Indian Army. In the month of July 2022, the Ministry of Defence has approved guided extended range ammunition along with area denial munition rockets for Pinaka rocket launchers and infantry combat vehicle command which is designed and developed by DRDO. The total value of these three proposal is rupees 8599 crore. The extended range rocket ammunition has a range of 75 kilometers with an accuracy of 40 meters. The area denial munition type 1 rocket ammunition contains dual purpose sub munition capable of neutralizing both tanks and armor personnel carriers as well as B vehicle entrenched troops. The infantry combat vehicle command is equipped with technology to collect, disseminate, share and present real time information to commanders to facilitate quick decision making for execution of various tasks. Now the good news is that the production of guided pinaka has begun in full swing. On 20th August, the Ordnance Factory Husawal has flagged off pod assembly for guided pinaka rocket to Ordnance Factory Chandrapur. DRDO has developed various versions of pinaka MVRL. These are pinaka MK1 having range of 37.5 kilometers. which has further been extended to enhanced range pinaka mk1 having range of 45 kilometers drdo has also developed pinaka mk2 having range of 60 kilometers guided pinaka having range of 75 kilometers and 122 mm extended range rocket with a range of 40 kilometers the pinaka rockets can achieve speed between 3.6 to 4 mac Pinaka MK1 is the first indigenous multi-barrel rocket system designed developed by ARD in association with other DRDO labs which has been inducted into services. Pinaka has effectively been used during Indo-Pakistan conflict in Kargil in June 1999 during Operation Vijay. The operation was successfully executed by soldiers of 210 rocket regiment along with DRDO team. The user trials of Pinaka weapon system with MK1 rockets were successfully completed in July 2002. Production of Pinaka weapon system commenced in the year 2006. Recently, the trials for 24 enhanced range Pinaka MK1 has also been conducted successfully, which has paved the way for its series production. and can be inducted into indian army the rockets of the enhanced pinaka mk1 can be fired from the same launchers which is used for the pinaka mk1 the impressive field performance of pinaka mk1 system has led to the design and development of state of art long range artillery rocket system in pursuit of this an enhanced version of pinaka A 60 km range Pinaka MK2 rocket system has been developed with various contemporary technologies compatible with Pinaka ground system keeping the same payload. Range, accuracy and consistency of Pinaka MK2 rocket have been successfully demonstrated during series of technical trials carried out at ITR Balasore and Pokhran. Talking about guided Pinaka rockets, they are being developed by ARDE in association with RCI DRDL HEMRL and PXC is capable of striking targets located deep inside the enemy territory having a range of 75 km with precision it is configured using propulsion system developed for pinaka mk2 rocket it makes use of aerodynamic force for canard control to improve accuracy and increase the range This is achieved by integrating a guidance navigation control GNC kit with the rocket in its OGIF portion. The GNC kit comprises of a unified avionics computer, canards driven by rotatory electromechanical actuators, thermal battery, fuse, telemetry and GPS antenna. 
it has an impressive accuracy of less than 30 meter at all ranges. The range enhancement of guided pinaka was demonstrated during January 2017 trials at ITR Balasore. The accuracy against land targets was demonstrated during March 2019 trials at Pokhran. Each pinaka regiment consists of three batteries of six pinaka launchers, each of which is capable of launching 12 rockets in a space of 44 seconds. The pinaka will be operated in conjunction with Indian Army's Firefinder radar and Swati weapon locating radars. In addition to these, a regiment has also support vehicles, a radar and a command post. Pinaka Launcher is a mobile system with the capability of laying and launching 12 rockets individually or in programmed Ripple or Salvo fire mode. Pinaka Launchers has been integrated on a rugged 8x8 Tatra military vehicle. The launcher also has an onboard automatic gun alignment and positioning system to provide land navigation and orientation capability. The parts developed for Pinaka MK1, MK2, MK1 Enhanced carries 6 rockets, whereas pod for guided Pinaka carries 4 rockets. All these rockets can be fired from same Pinaka launcher. The launcher tubes developed for these rocket pods are disposable, that is one-time use and are made up of e-glass epoxy resin system based composite. At present, 7 regiments of Pinaka has been inducted by Indian Army. A total of 126 launcher units are also active, with each regiment having 18 launcher units. In addition, 3 more Pinaka are on order and in November 2016, MOD has cleared the RFP for 6 more regiment. The Indian Army has planned to operate total 16 regiments by 2022 and increase this to 22 within next 6 years. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.